welcome back here on White Mountains today. Very excited to have Ken Martin. You've seen him before here on the show from M&D Playhouse. Good morning to you, Ken. Good morning, Kelly. And newcomers, we have Jesse, I'm going to cheat here, Jesse Chapman and Andrew Cottespotti. Got Hello. it. Good and you guys, morning. good morning to good you. Morning. You guys are from Advice to the Players. And I've been seeing this on our event calendar. And this is a unique relationship. Uh, when did it start? This must be five, six years now, yeah, Ken? Yeah. Uh, five years yeah. ago, yeah. So five, six years, you're based out of Sandwich, and you guys are mm -hmm. sort of the new leadership team mm -hmm. yes. coming on this year, but you're mm -hmm. based on a Sandwich, Sandwich Shakespeare Company. Mm -hmm. But you come up every year mm -hmm. and work with Ken and M&D Playhouse, and what are you putting on this year? Uh, we're putting on Hamlet. Hamlet. Um, so big classic. Right, a lot of people <laughs> yeah. are familiar with Many it. But Many people know this play. <laughs> but not the same play that they've always seen. You mm -hmm. guys have a little bit of a different thing going We have on. a lot of twists and we, we're a unique company. First off, we always have um, professional actors, uh, uh, amateur community actors who do it for the love of it but don't do it for the money, and then teen actors in all of our shows. And so you'll see that on stage. You'll also see a woman playing Hamlet. We also have other cross-gender casting going on. Fantastic. And Jesse, you were just telling me you have someone that started as a child. Yes. Our, uh, our Laertes started with us when he was probably seven years old, and he's 18 now. So oh he's been in dozens of productions, um, and it's incredible to see him yeah. on the stage now. That must be amazing to see that progression and the maturity that yes. comes with it yeah. by performing, because how would you guys describe, you've been acting for a long time, like mm -hmm. how would you tell people w what you get out of it? What is it like? Why do you do it? Um, I, uh, actually, we've been exploring this theme in our production of Hamlet. I, I view acting and what we do in the theater as a form of play. Mm -hmm. So to me, when I'm up there, I'm, I'm playing. I'm not, uh, I'm not working. <laughs> right. And so I hope that um, anyone who participates, especially in our productions, we try to keep it um, for the actors a, a feeling of playing and exploring mm -hmm. and l learning about themselves as well as putting on a great production for the audience. Wonderful. And Jesse, how about you? I'd say the other great skill that I know I got personally, and I can see it in our students who come through our programs, is being able to communicate what they're thinking and feeling, mm -hmm. um, and really being able to express themselves in an articulate manner. Mm. Okay, that's awesome. So today uh, they can see the play. It's at mm -hmm. 7.30, correct, Ken? Yep. Correct. That starts, but your doors open a little bit earlier. They do. You can come into the cafe as early as... You, might you can come into the cafe <laughs> as early <laughs> as 6.30. <laughs> 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 see, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the mic. That's, it's fun. <laughs> it's like we've had a great group uh, this morning, you guys coming on. Um, so appreciate you <laughs> making do with that. <laughs> but so doors open night. at six thirty, and they can come in and enjoy some light beverages. They can enjoy some uh, some uh, lots of heavy beverages <laughs> if you want. <laughs> uh, we we have a full bar, uh, but we also offer uh, non-alcoholic beverages if you so choose. Fantastic. And some delicious looking refreshments. <laughs> They're good. Oh, really? Cookies. Cookies. Very good. Yeah. I tried Cookies. some Cookies and brownies, night. homemade. Yeah. And <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. So that's a great plus. And then you get in, you watch the play. How long does the play take? It's about, it's under two hours with okay. an intermission, so okay. we keep it snappy. It's it not, like not the four and a half night. hour. Yeah, Hamlet <laughs> Uncut would be night. four and a half hours, wow. so we do, That's a you know, we, <laughs> 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 we do a slightly abbreviated <laughs> version. <laughs> Excellent. Now, Ken, the Playhouse, you guys have a new name this year. It went from M&D Productions to Playhouse. Tell me a little bit about that and welcoming uh, the advice to the players into Productions well, we switched the place. name because we thought that M&D Playhouse more accurately reflects what we do at the mm -hmm. theater. Um, productions made people think that we did uh, movies, and it was a little, Actually, it added to a little confusion. We got a lot of calls asking right. what movie was playing this week. Um, <laughs> so yeah, well, I, like, I like the Playhouse. I like yeah. that because, it, again, it reflects what you guys do. do. So how is it having this company come in and... Perform. I love having a professional company come to our theater. Uh, it amps up our actors. It shows us what's possible. Mm -hmm. um, and having and you, you'd think sometimes when you have such a broad mix or spectrum of actors on the stage that there's some kind of uh, degradation of quality. There right. isn't. Mm -hmm. These people are professionals. They do wonderful productions, and we are Great. thrilled to have them on our stage. And you've been involved <laughs> in theater for a very long time. Uh, uh, 30 <coughs> some years. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And what got you into it? Um, 
I was actually painfully shy at one mm. point in my life. I know it's hard to believe now, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and this brought me out of my shell. It made um. me realize that it's okay to be whoever I am. Right. Um, and I think it does make you able to articulate your thoughts more clearly, as Jesse said, mm -hmm. and it makes you more comfortable in your own skin, whatever that skin may be. Right. Uh, it lets you be whoever you are. And you, you get to be whoever else you want to be, too. <laughs> well, that's very cool. And you guys go summer long down mm -hmm. in Sandwich, yeah. yes. performing at a couple different venues. We were talking about the Town Hall over there, and you mentioned another? The Sandwich Fairground the Stage Sandwich is uh, kind of our main stage summer production, which okay. is outdoors and oh. really fun. Really? Okay. And again, you have professionals, amateurs, and teens. And how do people get involved with you if they're... Well, we're going to have a, um, a community style or ensemble style audition in May where we invite anyone who's interested either in the company or in working with us as an actor to come in, meet us, and get a chance to kind of uh, play with us and Great. see how we work. And I've never been in a play. How does it work? Is it, uh, they come in, it's a volunteer position? Do they have to pay to participate? What is... Um, we don't have uh, pay to play, so um, we have the three different levels. Some people make their living uh, as actors, and we uh, will pay them. Okay. Some people um, have another job, but they like to do acting on the side. There's okay. many people in our company who do that, and then we have the teens as well. So it's a different tiered system. Yeah, there's, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And they can find out more about that yeah. where? On advicetotheplayers.org. Okay, wonderful. And. Ken, you guys are not slowing down for the summer as well. You have something <laughs> else coming down the pipe right away. We do. Right after these guys uh, leave here on the 3rd, uh, we have a show opening on the 7th. It's Lauren Gunderson's uh, Exit Pursued by a Bear, which is based <laughs> very <laughs> loosely on, <laughs> <laughs> on a line from A Winter's Tale, a Shakespearean play, oddly mm -hmm. enough. Um, and it's an uh, incredibly funny revenge comedy. If, uh, if you saw Toil and Trouble last year, you're going to love Exit Pursued by a Bear. Okay, where can they find out more information about the play? Playhouse and the play. They can call the theater at 603-733-5275, uh, or they can go to your theater, T H E A T R E dot com. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. And Hamlet's going to be going tonight. It goes next Friday and Saturday, and then a special matinee on that Sunday at two. Correct. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Break a leg tonight, right. and uh, Ken, always a pleasure to see you as well. It's wonderful to see you too. All right, okay. folks. We'll be back here on White Mountains today. We have more weather and another watch wind coming your way. Ready to win. We're live, local, and about to give away a great White Mountain prize. Who's going to win? We'll find out in moments when you.